Wendy Williams says, it's about time Diddy is investigated for Say's trafficking crimes. The TV personality offered a comment two weeks after the rapper's arrest. Despite being in a care facility and under a court-ordered guardianship, Wendy Williams has spoken out about Sean Diddy Combs and the Say's crime allegations against him. The former TV personality, aged 60, broke her silence in regards to Combs' ongoing Say's trafficking and sexual assault lawsuits in an interview with on Tuesday, October 1st. Williams said she was doing good, was recently diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. She is currently in a care facility and under a court-ordered guardianship with alleged limited contact to her family. Speaking, Williams said, she has allegedly known about Combs' behavior for a long time. What is really weird is that I have been told by so many people, Wendy, you called it, she said, including some people from my family who have said the same. Prior to Williams' comments, she and Combs have had a history of disputes. In 1998, Combs allegedly had Williams fired from her hosting job at the radio show for Hot 97. According to Charlemagne the God, who referenced the rumor on a May 2024 episode of the Flagrant Podcast, Combs' former bodyguard, Jean Deal, has also previously commented on Combs, allegedly getting Williams fired from the show. Puff told Hot 97, if they didn't get rid of her before he got back in New York, that they was not going to get any music from any of his friends, any of the record label executives. That was cool with him. Everyone was going to boycott their station. We was out in law for about three days before we landed back in New York. Wendy Williams was in the radio station in Philly. It was over for her. She was fired, Deal said in an October 2022 interview. With Art of Dialogue, Williams' comments came after the October 1st news that the rapper is now facing lawsuits from 120 new abuse victims. The claims are following Combs' September 16th arrest, where he was charged with federal racketeering conspiracy, says trafficking and transportation to engage in prostitution. Federal authorities allege that Combs abused, threatened, and coerced women and others, and led a racketeering conspiracy that engaged in sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice, among other crimes. According to a U.S. Attorney's Office, Southern District of New York press release, since then, he has pleaded not guilty and was denied bail twice. Four days later, sources said that Combs was on suicide watch for preventative measures. The next day, his attorney began the process to file an appeal for him to be released from prison. For more updates on this, make sure to subscribe and turn on bell notification.